Okay, and 10 millimeter socket. And I start that job in here. And they are long bolts. After that, remember that there are inside four these small steel springs and when we lift up this upper cover we have to take a note that, that these springs that they don't drop down and we have to understand that in what way those springs are. A note that these are special uh, bolts and there is only 10 millimeter force, 10, 10 newton meters force in these bolts. When we install this back, it is not much. And, and remember that because it is not much. Okay, and now first spring drops down. But let's look that these springs, these belongs in this way. Look, that that area in down in this position and this hole in up in here. Look. Now all of this and they belongs inside in these areas. And now there is first one second and one one drop to ground. Okay, and there are related bolts and springs. And now when we look in this back area, this part really keeps this camshaft and bearings in position. This is really interesting engineering. And then in these holes, there are these springs. And remember, these springs goes in here, in that way. Four of these. Okay, and then I can lift carefully this full upper, these camshaft lifters and shaft spot away. And when I a little bit bend these sides, I can open this part. Now it looks like that it is like stuck. But if we use some special sharp head tool and we carefully paint that in this side areas this part opens in here and in here and also on another side carefully and I can use my screwdriver and really flathead thin screwdriver in this area and carefully I press that up in this way. And now it and there is these parts are free. A note that this part can drop and keep all of these parts in together because there are small special plates in between these arms and they are different sides in here and in here. And this is that's this is difficult job. Now I continue that my job and really in here that area I need to bend also carefully in here that side. Okay now this part opens. Excellent. And now I have to be really carefully because I have to keep both sides in here and now this package is free. Look. And this is another side and this is interesting thing because there are also this VTEC sensors in the central area. V 
P-Tex system works and that's this is so interesting and keep keep your pressed these both sides that we don't mix these because all of these parts must be in unique okay now there one small part drops to ground okay okay let's look at what drops okay there's small part what looks like I believe that this is this VTEC sensor part in here. Okay, I have to go to look at in what part, this small part, can you see? It drops to ground. And that's we have to be really careful that we don't mix and drop these things away. Because I believe that this is VTEC lock part in, in this area, in that area. In here but let's check that when I look at in what position this part belongs okay let's continue okay and now when this camshaft lifter these arms are away next when we are changing this camshaft I have to take this sprocket out in here and now I have to be really sure that I know that in what way this sprocket is in this position and let's go to look this area in here. Okay, and really this sprocket is controlled by timing chain and now it is important that this text up is in up and then I have to open this central bolt and that's I have to now locked this feel because now it's moving. If I use some hexagonal tool, what I can install in just in this area, where is this position that I can I have to that in this area when this moves, now it's locked. Yes, here is nice position, and then I open this bolt. And now this bulb is quite tight, about 50 newton meters, and I need impact driver. And 14 millimeter fan for socket. And opening direction is in here. And firstly, I install this locking locking plate in here, and then opening. I keep both hands and now central bolt opens nicely and then I connect that again up and this is in important. Look, look at this dot in here. There's oil by the way inside because this, this system and there is small dot and now I take that away and there is this connector. This is this point, look. Important when we install back. Up position and there is this dot. We have two 10 millimeter bolts and I open those next in here. Okay, and there is 10 millimeter socket. And bolt size good and then this cover cover opening I need now a little bit screwdriver okay and when I open this cover I can carefully use sharp knife it's not working and then I use flathead screwdriver and a little bit I I hit in yes this helps like little bit heating in this direction now it opens more and I hit more that area 
and now it opens a little bit more. But this is tight. Tight position. Again in here, this small. Okay, this is this is this is uh, this is tight connection. Now I use now I have bigger flathead screwdriver. And let's look that can I open that in here. Maybe I should do work also in that area. But now it works. It little by okay now it opens, yes. Okay, now this cover cover is free and note there is small gasket in this line array. But we can purchase new or we can use in here gasket glue in that area. Okay, excellent. Okay, and now when this part is away, I can take this camshaft in out in here but now it is like it seems to be a little bit stuck and what is what it is stuck okay what is there is there some sensor sensor what is keeping Okay, interesting. Why, why it is not moving? Okay, and in normally this should to co come out in this position. Now I check that that I check that is there any any screw or why this is like not movable. Okay, and it really seems that we need small hammer. That I ha hit this. This is so tight, this connections. Because these bearing areas are inside in here. And now this my. I can I can little bit hit that in here. Maybe this hammering. Okay, now, now it opens. Okay, cool. Now I can take this camshaft in here away in that way. Excellent. But there is like this connection point area in here. And in that way I can take this old cam away. Now I need to hammer this again in this next next area and I need some extension extension in here Okay, and in that way this cam is possible to replace a new cam installation is just same process in back. But very interesting Honda's engineering and when we look in these bearing areas in here, in that area, we can see in there this that areas in here. Okay, and when we when we use hexagonal tool, we can rotate this camshaft in right position. And in that way this helps this movement when we adjust that camshaft in position.